Mike already left. No, he's still over there. So I guess maybe we'll go say hi to him or something. Mike is right there in that red truck. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, he drives the 96 Ford pickup with the 5.0 engine. Yo, what's up? What? <laughs> How's the truck? Alright, so it looks like it's dying down pretty well, so once we get home, the wind will probably be good to go. No, <laughs> the wind. Alright, do you have a windbreaker? Try to make one makeshift. Just make us a channel called Makeshift 717. What are you waiting for? See, dude, that's why you need to get satellite. Oh, it's a little bit close over here. Oh, what'd you do to my truck? Dude. What do you listen to over there? Pop music? Alright. Bye. See ya. Keep it squilly. Guys, so check it out over here. I just sprayed down all the suspension components. It was getting pretty ugly in there. So I figured I'd take it myself to take care of the truck. I always try to do that in all places of the truck, even underneath the frame and everything. I always try to make sure everything looks good. And if it doesn't, we take care of it around here because I don't like the truck rusting out. There we go, I just touched up with the whole suspension components, the whole frame and everything like that, so. And we're going to be getting this Silverado fixed up as soon as possible here. I just got to order a lot of parts and a lot of mods and stuff coming for this truck, and I'm just going to get it all done at the same time, because what's the point of just wasting it and prolonging this and just having to take it to different places over and over and over again, which takes a long time. Might as well do it all in one scoop. So I'm sure you guys are going to like it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next video. Until next time, take it easy. All right, guys, sorry about the change of scenery here real quick, but I just drove the Tahoe to pick up the Cruze. So if you think some of these other YouTubers are Chevy guys, I drive Chevy trucks, Chevy SUVs, and Chevy sedans, all in new models. So that's also the key thing. These are all brand new cars, so I definitely need to upgrade to the new Silverado as well. This is amazing. Let's take this thing home. There we go. Remember that plate assembly that was on the front of the car is not there anymore? And it looks so much cleaner. Look how cleaner that looks. Looks as clean as that one over there, same car. That plate assembly, that plate holder assembly was horrible. I hated that so much, but now it's gone and it looks so much cleaner. Look at that car, man. So much cleaner without that. Just look at that aggressive spoil. Oh my gosh. Nursing us up. Sorry about the wind. <laughs> Here's what we got over here. Not really too fond of the color. But I love the front ends, dude. The front end of the 14, dude. Oh my gosh, it was freshly washed. 
such a beautiful truck. Dude, they changed it so much. Even under here, they added this new lining, which I think protects a lot more. I think it's a lot bigger of a well liner. So that's amazing that they did that. And they even got the liner back here. Oh my gosh. Look at that Z71. Look at this interior, man. Oh, these seats are so comfortable. Oh, and the door is just so firm. Compared to the Silverado, this is so, compared to my Silverado 2013, this is so firm. You got buttons for days everywhere here. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. 17,000 miles on her. Ooh, was they want to get a copyright there. Let's see if they have satellite. Probably not. Nope, no more satellite because it's used. All right, guys, so we're now inside of the Chevy, and I think I have a key somewhere here. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna just get this key going. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even need to put the key in. Here we go. There we go. We just started her up. If you guys could hear that or not. But yeah, 1.4 liter with a turbo in it. I think that is amazing. And of course, we got the plate holder here. Remember this, guys? This was up on front of the truck. Did not look good. I, front of the truck. Front of the car. I hated the look of this on there. And it's finally off. It looks so cleaner and sportier that way. And I must say, it looks amazing. And here is what I'm looking at. Looks so good in here, man. All right, let's get going. There's those lifted Chevys over there, lifted dogs. Oh yeah, and the reason it was dropped off in the first place because of the body work on the side here. As you can see, the dents are all gone. Absolutely zero dents on this car. It's looking so clean. I just wanted to check that before I left. Totally forgot about it, honestly. I was thinking more about this plate. If anything, I wanted to make sure that that was all taken care of in the front. But the car looks so clean now. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's a Chevy Cruze. Think about how... I think it's just a simple Chevy Cruze, but then it's so businessy and sporty looking now with the especially with the front end. And of course, we also have both speakers. That's the thing I had also forgot to mention. Both speakers in this car. Damn, look at that. Looks sick. There they are. <laughs> oh yeah.